Would you like to have a great reputation in your organisation as the go-to person to manage conflict? Developing your knowledge and skills in conflict management and in turn enhancing your personal branding can be started with these seven steps. Now in this post to help explain the seven steps, I'm going to assume that Jolene has come to you with a problem that she's having with Tulio. Step one is to listen. Now I rate listening as the number one prerequisite somebody needs to have if they want to become a good conflict manager. So in this case, you've got Jolene coming to you with a problem. So the first thing you should do is to sit down and listen to what Jolene is saying. No interrupting, no preempting what she's about to say, giving her your undivided attention for the intent of understanding the conflict from her perspective. Step two is questioning. Now you've listened and heard everything that Jolene has had to say, the next step for you to be a good conflict manager is to be able to ask questions to find out a little bit more information and then listen to her answers. Step three is to ask Jolene what she would like you to do. Jolene may be coming to you simply to vent so she's able to think through the conflict for herself. Or she may be coming to you to ask for strategies on how to manage the situation with Tulio. Or she could be coming to you to ask for your assistance to intervene and to assist in this matter. This is up to Jolene to let you know what she requires of you. Step four is role playing. Now I know not everybody loves it, but it is really valuable in a situation like this. Let's assume you've given Jolene a few strategies to use when she's talking with Tulio. The concept of role playing this before she meets with Tulio is really quite important because she's in a safe environment with you. She can make mistakes, learn from those mistakes while she's with you before she goes into the real setting with Tulio. Step five is to know a process like mediation. Now you may not be required to conduct a formal mediation in your workplace, but having an understanding of a process that you can fall back onto as needed gives you confidence as you're managing conflict in your workplace. Step six is following up. It's really important if you're wanting to enhance your reputation as a conflict manager, as a great conflict manager in your workplace, that you follow up with the people who've come to see you to find out how things have gone on for them. Not only would this let Jolene know that you're still there to support her and potentially Tulio if needed, but it's also an opportunity where you can gain some feedback on how you have gone as a conflict manager. And step seven is to reflect. Now reflecting allows you an opportunity to look back at what you did and what you did well to manage the conflict, what you would do differently next time, but also to acknowledge how far you are along the way to becoming a better conflict manager. Building your personal brand by being known as the go-to person in your workplace for managing conflict will set you apart from the crowd. Start becoming known as a great conflict manager by following these seven simple steps. Now there are further tips and strategies available so you can have a look on my website for those. Otherwise you can contact me if you've got any questions about managing conflict in your workplace. I'm Andrea Doyle, workplace mediator and conflict manager. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.